SCP-1312, Site-41. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1312 is to be contained behind a perimeter of electrical fencing 2 meters in height. All potential exits from SCP-1312 are to be kept under guard at all times. Any entities attempting to leave SCP-1312 are to be subdued and taken into containment immediately. No objects or individuals are to enter SCP-1312 without specific authorization. Any testing of SCP-1312 must be approved by at least three members of Level 3 personnel. Description SCP-1312 is the designation given to the unfinished Site-41, which experienced an incident seven months into the construction in which the entire site was relocated three kilometers north. All staff present within SCP-1312 are presumed killed or in such a state that are, they are to be considered lost. SCP-1312 is home to a large number of humanoid entities. Information regarding these humanoid entities were gleaned through a rover, which was placed in SCP-1312-1. The rover recorded the capturing process and subsequent behavior of the entities. All of these entities would resemble featureless human beings of solid coloration. These entities show limited intelligence and are docile until they become aware of the presence of an object or organism foreign to SCP-1312. At this point, they will take the object or organism and contain it utilizing the facilities already present in SCP-1312. In cases where the foreign presence is an organism, they will subdue it first by rendering it unable to move or unconscious. These humanoid entities are divided into three separate types. SCP-1312-1 Humanoid entities of a solid white color. SCP-1312-1 will engage in acts which they are assumed to be attempted experimentation with objects or individuals which have been captured. They will typically not approach captured objects themselves, instead directing SCP-1312-3 instances via a series of clicking and groaning noises. SCP-1312-1 also appear to write documentation regarding the objects or individuals they have captured. See Recovered Documents 1312-1. SCP-1312-2 Humanoid entities of a solid black color. SCP-1312-2 appear to be in charge of the capture and subduing of foreign objects and individuals. They are capable of speech, but this appears to be limited to the shouting of containment breach when they cite a foreign presence in SCP-1312. SCP-1312-3 Humanoid entities of a solid orange color. SCP-1312-3 are directed by SCP-1312-1 in experimentation involving objects foreign to SCP-1312. They will usually follow SCP-1312-1 instances throughout SCP-1312 in large crowds. SCP-1312-3 appear incapable of independent thought and will not act unless prompted by SCP-1312-1. Recovered Documentation 1312-1 on Easter Year a small expedition was attempted into SCP-1312. The humanoid entities having been distracted by the placement of several objects in SCP-1312 shortly before. During the brief expedition, several documents which SCP-1312-1 entities have been observed to write previously were discovered in offices and empty containment chambers. Unfortunately, one member of the expedition was captured by SCP-1312's humanoid entities during the attempted exit. See Recovered Document 3. 
Recover document 1312-1. Item number SCP. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. It goes in the box. It stays in the box. It is kept in the box by security. Do not let it out of the box. Only doctors can use it. Description. A stick of orange with blackness inside. The blackness makes itself on paper. This is an experiment written on paper. When a D-class eats it, it makes him die. It is contained in his neck. He is cut open with sharp things. It is taken out again. It has chew marks on it now. Experiment log SCP-1. First experiment. It is put in water. Result? Wet. Second experiment. It is put in the cold room. Result? Cold. The third experiment. It is put in the warm room. Result? Warm. The fourth experiment. It is asked questions. Result? Silent. The fifth experiment. It is cut apart with sharp things. Result? Broken. Now it is only blackness without the orange. Recover document 1312-2. Item number? SCP. Object class? Safe. Special containment procedures. It is kept in a room. The room is locked. Do not unlock the room. Only doctors can unlock the room. To security, keep it contained. Do not drink it. Description. A white cylinder. It has liquid in it. The liquid was once warm, but it is now cold. This is because it is in a cold room. This is what an SCP deserves. Remember our motto, secure the contain and protect. When D-Class drink it, they say it is good. They do not say this anymore because it is cold. Dr. <laughs> this name has been scratched out of the paper by what is presumed to be a fingernail or other sharp implement. Says he remembers drinking it. Do not listen to him. He is a liar, a liar, a liar. He's lying, he's a liar, a liar, a liar, a liar. This continues for several pages. Experiment log SCP-1. It is put in water. Result, wet. The second experiment. It is put in the cold room. Result, cold. The third experiment. It is put in the warm room. Result, warm. The fourth experiment. It is asked questions. Result, silent. The fifth experiment. It is cut apart with sharp things. Result, it doesn't work. Recover document 1312-3. Item number, SCP. Object class, Keter formerly, now neutralized. Special containment procedures. Do not listen to it. It does nothing but lie. Keep it in the room. Feed it D-class. Do not listen to what it tells you. If it tries to get out, hit it. After you hit it, put it back in the room. Any personnel who says it is not a liar are lying. Do not trust them. Description. It is like a man, but pink and with tough material on it. It can talk, but all it does is lie. It insults personnel who go near it. Sometimes it screams. It says it is an agent of the SCP Foundation. This is a lie, and it is a liar. It had a metal item with it. It kills a D-Class when it is pointed at them and the trigger is pulled. There is a thing in the D-Class's head after that. When it isn't pointed at the head, they take longer to die. It had another metal item. Voices came from the item and asked if Agent Banks is there. We asked if it is an SCP, and the voices stopped talking. It has been designated as SCP because of this. Now it is contained. The first experiment. It is put in water. Result? Splash. The second experiment. It is put in the cold room. Result? Shivers. The third experiment. It is put in the warm room. Result? Warm. The fourth experiment. It is asked questions. Result? Lies. The fifth experiment. It is cut apart with sharp things. Result? Wet.